Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to create folder based on file extension and then move all the files to respective folders in SSIS or in C Sharp as well. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Sainath Satyala and he asked to make a video on this topic so let's jump to the demo. In my D files location we got several files like .csv file, .zip file, .xlsx file and .xml files. So what I want is that for all these files like csv, zip, xlsx and xml different folders should be created here and then all these files should be moved to those particular folders ok so I have already written the code in C sharp console app so first I will explain you this code and I will show you running this particular code and then I will move this particular code to the SSIS package in the script task and then I will execute the code from there as well ok so let me explain you what I am doing here so I have created a local variable source folder path so this is the path of the source folder d files ok and then I have declared few variables like file path, dust folder path, file name and file extension and now using the directory info and files info class we are getting all the files details into the files array ok and then in this particular for each loop we are just looping through all the files those are situated inside the files array and then we are getting each file, file path, file name, file extension and assigning these values into the local string variable those we declared earlier and then we are just checking if the dust folder path already exists or not so suppose there is a csv file to be moved and the extension of the file name is csv so we will check that if the csv folder exists or not so if the folder does not exist then it will create a csv folder and then it will move the source file this particular file into the dust folder path plus file name so this is how it is working and if a folder will already be there like if a csv folder will already be there or if a xlsx folder will already be there then it won't create the directory and it will move the file into that particular directory so let me put a breakpoint here and let me execute this particular c sharp console app and show you how it will behave so if i do f10 here ok so now you can see that the file name is courses.xml and the extension of the file is this one xml so it will check if the xml directory will be there in the d file then it won't create the directory and if the xml directory won't be there then it will create the directory so as you can see that at the moment we don't have the xml directory here so let me press f10 here so it will create the xml directory so if i will check now so an xml directory has been created here ok and if i further go back and if i press f10 so now an xml file should be moved to the xml directory so if i go back and if i check the xml directory so now you can see that courses.xml file has been moved here ok and now let me go back to the c sharp console app and if i press the f10 again alright so now you can see the file name so it is customer underscore timestamp dot zip so it will check if the zip directory exists or not so if you see here we don't have the zip directory here and thus a zip directory should be created here ok so now you can see that a new zip directory has been created and at the moment the directory is empty and if I go back and if I press the F10 here so a zip file should be moved to that particular directory so if I double check the zip directory now so you can see that a file has been moved to the zip directory so this particular code will behave the same for all the files so I can just remove the breakpoint from here and I can click on continue so the code ran fine if I go back so you can see that all the files have been moved to their respective directories so the csv folder contains all the csv files and then the txt folder contains all the txt files similarly xlsx file contains the xlsx files and xml folder contains the xml files so this is how you can just create the directories for each extension and can move the files to their respective folders so if you want to execute the same code in the SSIS package then you can create a blank SSIS package so I already have a blank SSIS package here and I can just drag and drop the script task into the control flow window and then I can right click and click on edit and then I can click on edit script so that the script editor can be opened up where I can just paste the code from my C sharp console app and I will share this code with you so that you can download it from the link in the description of the video and you can use the same code in your environment so the script editor has been opened up and let me go back to the C sharp console app and let me copy the code from here and then I can paste the code here 
okay so it is giving an error because the system dot io namespace is missing so i can click on show potential fixes and i can add using system dot io so now all the errors are gone and our code seems good now i can click on file exit so i can click on ok and this will save the code inside the script task now i can go back to the d files location so now i can just delete all these extension folders from here and uh, I can just copy the files back to this particular directory. Alright, so the files have been put at this particular location. And now if I will execute my SSIS package, then it should create the folders and should move the files to the respective folders. So let me execute the SSIS package. So the package ran fine. And if you go back to the D files location, so now you can see that different extension folders have been created here and then the respective files have been moved to their particular folders. So I think this is good. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.